let's do a visit data demo and have some fun with frequency tables. So there's a book called the Troll Handbook, and in it, a hoaxer discusses the many subreddit and other posts that she had made over the years trying to hoax readers of various advice subreddits like uh, relationship advice and others. And I was wondering, could I actually perhaps interview some of the people who commented on those hoaxes and see what they thought about it? Because a lot of people say, oh, there are so many hoaxes and so many fake stories on Reddit. And so I'd like to speak to some of the people about their reactions if I know in fact they've been hoaxed, or at least it's likely. So let's first, with a frequency table, look at, in this data set I created, what subreddits are we looking at? And so this, this data set is a CSC file where I took the many postings that the hoaxer wrote about in their book, and I found them online, and I found the corresponding URLs, and I found a list of commenters for each one of those hoaxes. And so here are some of the subreddits we're looking at. Now, not all of these are really advice subreddits, so I'm going to want to exclude some of these. So confession, I could remove. That I'll remove. That I'll remove. That I'll remove. And that I'll remove. So one of the things in a frequency table, when you select something, it actually selects things in the preceding sheet of which the frequency sheet is derived. So if I quit the frequency sheet and go back to the other sheet, I can look and see, well, actually, did I select anything? And in fact, I did. Here's some messages for the married pill. And what I can do now is then delete them all. So I have now hopefully deleted them. If I do the frequency analysis, again, I can see they're not there. In this particular sheet, I have the URL, which I'm not showing, and I have another field, the name of the commenter on the hoax post. And I don't want to show you the, the name of the author, the usernames necessarily, so I've hidden it for now. But what I will do, since I want to do some analysis on it, is, is scramble it up a little bit. So if I back back out, I can first... Uh, import the codex Python library so that I can scramble it. So that is G control X and I want to import codex. Now what I want to do is I want to create a new column and even though it's hidden it's still there. I want it to be equal to actually codex code author P Rot 13. And so this, let's rename this to commenters. And this is their scrambled usernames. So let's have a look at the frequency of various commenters commenting on these hoax posts. So we can see that some people commented a lot on the hoax posts. So for instance, uh, this person, Tara Zibby, you know, commented on 30, commented 37 times on various hoaxes. Now I'd like to interview some of these people and I'd like to interview the people that seem the most active and have fallen prey if, if they feel that way, which is why I want to interview them about these hoaxes. And so let's get rid of the folks who just fell for this once or twice. And if we go to the bottom of this frequency analysis, we can see there's going to be a lot of people who just did it once. In fact, if we go to the count column and do a frequency analysis of that, we can see like, yes, most of the people in this data set only commented once or twice on this hoaxers, many hoaxes. So we will select them for later deletion, right? And again, whenever you select something in a frequency analysis, it also selects everything in the preceding frequency analysis. So I am data frequency frequency levels in. So now if I quit this frequency analysis and I quit this frequency analysis, you can see I've obviously still have some rows selected. And these rows correspond to people who only commented once or twice on the hoaxes. So I can do GD to delete them all. Now, this data set 
only includes commenters who have commented three or more times. And that is, if we look over there, 716 bins, so I have 716 people that I could message and ask for an interview on Reddit.